Let's solve this radical equation. If possible, isolate a radical, and I can isolate this radical by subtracting 3 from both sides. So I'll have the square root of x squared minus 7 is equal to negative 3. By the way, at this point in solving, you may immediately notice that this equation will have no solution because there's no value for x that when you take the square root, you have a negative number. But if you don't happen to notice that, you'll still have no solution as you continue solving. Next, I would square both sides, square the left side, square the right side. The left side squared is x squared minus 7. Negative 3 times negative 3, the right side is 9. Now I have a quadratic equation. I'll subtract 9 from both sides, and I'll have x squared minus 16 is equal to 0, and then that factors as x plus 4 times x minus 4 is equal to 0. Set each factor equal to 0, and you will have two proposed solutions. You'll have a proposed solution of negative 4 and a proposed solution of 4. I will let you check. Replace x with negative 4, see if a true statement results, it will not, and replace x with positive 4, see if a true statement results, it will not. These will not check, and actually you have no solution or the empty set here.